John chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. On hearing it, many of his disciples said, This is a hard teaching. Who can accept it? Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe, for Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. He went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. You do not want to leave too, do you? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. This passage highlights the challenges of faith and the importance of spiritual understanding. How does this resonate with you today? Prayer Reflection on John chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the words of Jesus in John 6, 60-69, we are reminded of the challenges that come with true faith. Many of his disciples found his teachings difficult to accept, and we too, at times, struggle with understanding and living out your word. Lord, we ask for the grace to embrace your teachings, even when they challenge us or seem hard to follow. Help us to remember that your words are spirit and life, and that through them, we find true meaning and purpose, just as Peter declared, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We too affirm our faith in you. Strengthen our belief and help us to trust in your guidance, especially when we face doubts and uncertainties. We pray for the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it, knowing that you are the Holy One of God. May your Spirit fill us with life and lead us on the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. How does this reflection resonate with you? Feel free to share any thoughts or additional reflections you might have.